I'm here in Unionville, which is just outside Toronto, and this is another project by the Bespoke Group. Now we have seen two condos by them that were extraordinary, and this is 3,000 square feet of house. The Bespoke Group fell in love with this house because it's at the end of a cul-de-sac, it's right on the park, it's got two stories and a finished basement, and it was screaming for a makeover. This neighborhood was developed in the 90s and you can really see it in the aesthetic of the home. So the exterior is a bit of a pinky red brick, very traditional looking, and they gave the exterior of the house a quick refresh by painting it crisp white with a charcoal gray accent. The house was a little more divided previously. It had smaller rooms. When you entered the home, you had the big foyer with the rounded staircase, a 12 by 12 kind of muddy beige tile, you know, your broad loom up the stairs, just very vintage. And what they wanted to create is that welcoming showpiece of an entrance as soon as you open that door. They did that with a very bold porcelain tile, which takes you right into the living room at the back of the house and up the fireplace mantle in the dining room. At the back of the house, they previously had a kitchen and living room situation, but it was divided by a wall. They chose to open it up to make it feel larger and more of that modern lifestyle we have now with the kitchen and family room together. And what's great about having these two spaces adjacent to each other is that the kitchen is quite the showpiece. Now, before the kitchen was a bit dark, it was C-shaped, closed off, but they wanted to go with a sleeker look with a huge island, which you can sit at comfortably, not on bar stools, but on proper chairs, and a nice graphic backsplash, which was carried onto the island as well. They had this really sweet nook in a bay window near the kitchen, which is perfect for a little breakfast area. What I love about the kitchen is that the appliances are super sleek. The fridge has no handles on it, so even though it's not paneled, it doesn't look bulky or messy. I said this before and I'll say it again, your home is only as good as your storage, and there's plenty of storage in this kitchen, a really cool pantry, and they've really maximized the cabinetry. At the front of the house, right off the entrance, used to be a formal living room that was pink, it had some wallpaper border. It was like an 80s dream. And it connected right to the back of the house with the dining room, which was burgundy with your heavy wood furniture. They really wanted to narrow that down a notch. Now we have a large dining room, large enough that there is even a sitting area right by the window. So this is the perfect entertainment space. You have your dinner party, you have your cocktail party, all of this in front of a grand fireplace. Now the back of the house, which is behind the dining room wall, that was created as an in-law suite, which is great for accessibility for both access to the kitchen and access to the backyard. It's nice and private with a beautiful wall mural from Temp Paper, which has this chinoiserie going up the back. It's really a showpiece. And right off the in-law suite is a beautiful three-piece bathroom. Previous owners had put a powder room on the main floor. It was floral, and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of loved it. And it also had a huge laundry room, which connected to the side of the house. The Bespoke Group decided to steal some of that space back and create a powder room slash laundry room in one space. The previous home also had an office right off the entrance, which is super useful nowadays. Who doesn't work from home, right? So they chose to leave it as a home office. And they added some wallpaper, which is from Gluckstein Home, and an oval desk to add just a bit more personality. It's very chic. The principal bedroom was always huge. It is 14 by 26. So really what needed to be done in that bedroom is give it a refresh. So take away the broad loom, put up some fresh wallpaper, and then of course some modern furnishings to outfit it properly. And because it's such a large space, they were able to put a sitting area. The ensuite previously felt just a little bit darker. The tub was in an alcove, it had the apron front, it had the big glass shower and the double vanity. They kept those elements, but they put a freestanding tub, a beautiful glass shower, and of course, a more modern vanity. And there are three extra bedrooms upstairs. One is a teenager's bedroom, super cool. I like this space. 
Then there is a kid's bedroom, which is pink and fairy tale like this one actually has a bathroom connected to it, which has a bit of a more casual vibe with that wood vanity, a glass shower. And then the guest bedroom, which is beautiful with a nice block print wallpaper, also has a bathroom connected to that suite. It's sparkly, has some bold tile and gold fixtures, very elevated. The basement previously was everything you would expect a basement from the 90s to be like. Most of the walls were covered in wood paneling, which made it a bit dark. Cool vintage vibe though. <laughs> And then the hot tub side, you heard me correctly, the hot tub side had a nautical theme. Like a seafood restaurant. No, I'm no, getting no, mean, no, I'm no, getting mean. <laughs> this hot tub was lowered into the basement by the previous homeowners by cutting some joists in the floors. Do not recommend. So they did some structural work and made sure the house is sound for the homeowners and did much better in the basement by creating a karaoke room in that space. Yes. Yeah. It's covered in dark wallpaper. There is no window there, as you would expect in a karaoke room. So it really fits the theme. It's dark, it's moody, it's cool, and it's got some mics. And the rest of the basement, which is finished and huge, by the way, is outfitted with a media room, cool to just lounge, and then a games table, Scrabble, Monopoly, you name it, and then a ping pong area. Because what do you do with all that space? Of course you put a ping pong table, right? It's definitely a space that I would hang out in. What I love about this home and what the Bespoke Group did is really design it for that multi-generational family and gave all the options in terms of living, right? So if you have your in-laws staying here, if you're working from home, if you have many kids or kids coming back from university, like there's space for everyone, there's a space for everything and it is beautifully functional and beautifully designed. Okay, so before you guys start commenting, where's that couch from, where's that lamp from? Hold up, we've got a full shopping video for you and that is linked in the description below.